Jim Edwards here, joined by Tom Ducamois, ahead of UFC London, which goes down on Saturday night. He'll be taking te on Terry on where. Um, Tom, you, you were just telling me off camera here that you've uh, been doing your training for this fight back in France, which is, uh, you've been recently training at Jackson Winkle John as well, so tell me how you've kind of prepared for this fight and why you've made the decision to go back to France to prepare for this one. No, so I will still be representing uh, Jackson Wink for that fight. It's just that uh, when I received the, the, the offer for London, that was one month and a half ago, and I was uh, in Paris at that time, so I just decided to do the, the camp in Paris with the, my Parisian uh, my Parisian guys and sparrings and coach. So that was said that way, and uh, that was a, that was a, it's been years I didn't do a camp in Paris, and uh, mm. that was a change. I liked it. You did like it, so what, how does it kind of differ from Jackson Winklejohn? Obviously the location's very different, but what do you get in Paris that maybe you don't get in Jackson's, and what do you get at Jackson's that maybe you don't get in Paris? Yeah, both are amazing. Uh, at Jackson we have a structure, we have a lot of coach in different areas, and it, uh, in Paris it's the occasion for me to uh, uh, rebuild and uh, create it and uh, explore new techniques on the striking game. You know Muay Thai, kickboxing, uh, boxing, uh, it's, uh, it's huge in France. So that's the occasion for me to see a high level coach in Muay Thai for example. Mm. And uh, that's what I've been doing the, the last uh, two months and a half. Mm. You said there at the start of the interview when we started talking that the fight announcement came very late in the day. Um, how, how far out did you know about this fight and when did you find out you were going to be fighting here in London? It was one month, one month and a half ago, yeah. I think. Is that enough time to prepare? That's, that's quite a short camp for a lot of people. I'm always training, yeah. so that was just uh, an acceleration to do. Yeah. It is, do, you, do you prefer sometimes having shorter notice, less time to think about it, less time to get anxious, or do you not? Uh, you know, you it's always camps? good to have at least one month and a half, yeah. and uh, being already in a, in, a, in a good shape. If not, uh, I like to be uh, on top, I like to be at the top when I'm uh, mm. How do you reflect, I guess, on your first year in the UFC, your first uh, couple of fights, one went your way, one didn't go your way, how do you kind of reflect on the debut year that you had? Oh, I liked it, uh, it's been uh, the occasion for me to uh, explore the, the, that new part of the business, the high level business, and, uh, I liked it, I signed with CAA, I met a lot of uh, people, I've been a little bit everywhere in the world, still, still in the idea, in the process of uh, studying. Uh, MMA and uh, I liked it, you know, first fight, I get the get the win by mm. knockout, second didn't go the way I, I wanted to, uh, that was a, a defeat uh, on points, but uh, at the end of the day I, I've been learning such a lot So, so since that last fight, thanks to that last fight, so mm. really happy, you know, that was a, a fearful year, and, uh, it went so fast and uh, amazing remember. Um, you hadn't lost for a very long time before your fight against Cody. Um, like when, when you know when you woke up the next morning, like what kind of feelings did you have? Were you kind of regretful of how the fight went, or were you already looking forward and you know looking at ways you could uh, perform better for this fight? Yeah, there's always things you should have done or shouldn't have been done. And, uh, for me, uh, 30 minutes after the fight. I'm already in a way when I want to reboot things and I want to evolve in a positive way. That, that's, that's my mindset, you know. I, right away I'm like, okay, let's do a, a meeting with the coach, what didn't go, what, what didn't go well, what, what went well. And uh, from there I, I adapt a new, a new camp, a new way of training. Mm. And uh, from there you evolve. I mean, uh, what do you know about Terry on Terry on where? Like, what do you think uh, he kind of brings to the table on Saturday night? What challenges? I think he's going to be tough. He's going to be a uh, very ready, um, high-level boxer going forward, uh, ready to put on a show. So uh, I'm glad he accepted the, the challenge, and, and I'm sure he will be 100 percent. Uh, and you fought in America, you fought in the UK, you fought all over Europe, like. Where, where is it you prefer to fight? Do you prefer being in Europe or do you prefer the fight cards that you've been on in, in America? Oh, it's different in a few details, but uh, I love both. You know, 
UK, the British people, they've been receiving me so, so well since the very beginning of my career. Even when I was fighting against English uh, opponents, they're always applauding me and respecting me and uh, they have the control of the show. It's very enjoyable to fight in, in, uh, in the UK and it's always a pleasure to, to come back in London to fight because that, that was the place I, I fought my, for, for my first world title. So the, I always have good remember here and uh, when I fight in the US it's, uh, it's obviously for me the, 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 the occasion to adapt to that uh, new business, to that uh, it's a new platform for me, mm. it's a new business and I really enjoy it. People from the US they have the, the culture of the show too, of the, of the entertainment and it's uh, uh, like uh, I love to fight there too because uh, Obviously, I want to develop my, my career on the West Coast, Las Vegas, mm. Los Angeles. So strategically, it's a, it's a good way for me to it's a good uh, to good things to good thing to fight in, in the US. Um, obviously, uh, you have a lot of UK fans, as you mentioned there. You fought for so long um, at UK events on Bama. Are you hoping that there's going to be a lot of those fans in the O2 on Saturday night, kind of spurring you on to victory? Is that something you really appreciate? The good thing is that uh, I've been receiving a lot of uh, mails and, uh, and messages telling me that a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fans of uh, England will be there, but also my, my, my audience from uh, Paris, a little bit everywhere in France, and especially the north of France, which is not far to come to assist to the fight, so it will be for them the occasion to come, because usually it's in Kansas City or Las Vegas, it's, it's, a, low, it's a long road for them to do, so usually they, they miss it. And uh, fighting in London is the occasion for, for my UK and French uh, people to, to, to follow me. And it's uh, very agreeable. Great stuff. Um, when, when you kind of think about this fight with Terry on, how do you see this kind of going down on Saturday? Where, when, when you sit back at night and you think about how, where, where this fight could go, how do you see it playing out? It can go everywhere. You know, it's MMA. Uh, it's very open uh, of all the. The, the, the areas of the fight, so it can go everywhere. Uh, knowing uh, my style and the one of Tyrion, we can expect that it's uh, going to be a great show. Fighting uh, uh, on the feet, striking game will be good. I think we'll go that way, but I'm open for, for, for something else too. And uh, just lastly, when you look at the rest of the year, you're fighting in March, that's quite early on. How, how many fights would you like this year and where do you kind of want to be by the end of 2018? Uh, we'll see, uh, I'm always doing, uh, following the, the, the internal process, doing the things step by step, depending the opportunities and depending what I want to do. So, I, I don't know. Great stuff, Tom. Um, there, there was such an overwhelmingly positive reaction when your fight got announced. I think you you might even be surprised by how much the support is going to be there for you on Saturday night. So, thank you for your time. Thank you. And, thank you. and best thank of you luck on Saturday night. Thank, thank you a lot for all the, the, the good support. Great stuff, Tom. Perfect.